Now that we know how to create an array, the next thing that I want to teach you is how to access an array. So we've created an array up here with values 1 through 10. And the first way to access an array is to first get the name of the array. We can see the name of the array is scores. And then put your brackets, and then after you have your brackets, put the value that you're looking for, the index value that you're looking for. These down here are called indexes. So we can see that we're looking for index 5. And the last portion, and what it would pull up, is the value stored in index 5 happens to be 6. So if we tried to look at 0, index 0, we would find a 1. If we tried to look at index 1, we would find a 2. Index 2, we would find a 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, let's take a moment and talk about this index, the idea of an index here. An index is going to start at 0, and it's going to go all the way to the length minus 1. And this is kind of hard for beginning students, because you would think that it would start at 1 and end at the length. But what it actually does, we know that this is length 10, because there's 10 elements inside of here. But what it actually does is it takes the information subtracts 1 from the max length so we can see that we would have a range of 0 to 9. So what this works out to be in the code is if we try to access something before 0, and this is kind of an uncommon error, but if we tried to say what's at the negative 1 index, we would get an error. If we tried to access inside of the range of 0 to 9, which in this case we're trying to access 1, which is not the first index, the first index would be 0, we would get a 2. And then the most common error is, well, what happens if I'm trying to access the last part of the array, or the last element of the array? If I was trying to pull up the length, you would think it would be 10, but it's actually 9, because remember, we start at 0 and we go to 9. So what you're trying to do, in essence, is pull something, pull some kind of memory right here. Memory would exist there, but it certainly wouldn't be part of our array. What we need to know from this is that an array index is going to start at 0 and go all the way to the index minus 1. And if you try to access the length of the array, you're going to get what's called an index out of bounds. If you're trying to access something before the array starts or after the array starts, you're going to get index out of bounds. In the compiler, it makes sense that it would throw that error. Because what, in essence, we're trying to do is pull something that just simply is not part of an array. We're trying to pull memory that does not belong there. In order to safeguard itself, Java throws an error. Because we have dealt with strings before, I want to talk about the difference between length and length. And you say, okay, well, <laughs> what's the difference? Well, you can see that there's a difference in parentheses. There's no parentheses here, and there are parentheses here. With arrays, when you're finding the length of an array, you do not use parentheses because it is a field. And you can see int len, and it's going to be an integer value, and that would be 10 because there are 10 elements inside of this array. In this case, you do not, do not use parentheses. But as we've learned with strings, you do use parentheses if you're looking for the length. So word.length, length2, the string is cow. And if we're looking for the length of cow, that would return 3. It's important to notice, when working with arrays, do not use parentheses. When working with strings, you do. Over time, you'll get used to this. It's a common mistake to start with. But if you try to do this with an array and you add the parentheses, it's going to give you an error. Now that we've learned how to take information out of an array, how do we put information into an array? Well, we have an array here that has 10 elements, and you can see this is what the array would look like in memory. And what I want to do is I want to access the 0 index, the 1 index, the 3 index, and the 5 index. And so the first one, I'm going to access the 0 at the index, and I'm going to put a 5 there. Second one, I am going to access the first index, and I'm going to change it to 17. The next one is the third index, and I'm going to change that to 12. last one that I'm going to change is the fifth index, and I'm going to 
change that or assign that to 33. So now when I come over here and I print out the information, notice that I will get a 5 for the first, for the second, and even though I haven't set it the information, we learned from previous videos that arrays will put information in an empty array. So that's where that 0 comes from. And then if I print out the next 3, I'm going to get 12, 0, 33. So you can see by using this syntax right here, I have added pieces of information. I've actually changed pieces of information inside the array at the different array indexes. Another problem that comes up when dealing with arrays is the length of the array. The array data structure, if you remember from the first video in the definition of array, is a fixed length. You cannot, cannot, cannot change the length of the array. If you said, okay, I have an array, it has five elements, oh my goodness, I really need ten elements, you cannot say scores.length now equals ten. Arrays are what we call static. And static means they cannot change. They cannot change their size once they've been created. You can create another array and create it bigger and then put the information inside that array. There are other ways around it, but it's important to note at the base level, you cannot change an array. Once it's set, you have to abide by that size. Make sure when you start your program that you know how many slots you're going to need, and you might even want to add a few extra just in case. To sum up this video, what we talked about is how to access an array. Both how to insert information inside of there by using the name of the array, the index that we want to insert, and then the values. And those go to the different indexes and change the values. And then if we want to access those values or access something in the array, we simply have the array name and then we put the index that we're trying to access. What's at index 0? A 5. What's at index 1? A 17. What's at index 3? A 12. And then finally, what's at index 5? A 33. And these other values are from these default values we started out. Accessing and changing information in an array is an important part of the data structure. Make sure you know how long your array is going to be. And remember, if you're going to find the length, do not use parentheses.